Hi, it's Mind Crypto here. I hope we're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research. Mind Crypto here. Hope we're all having a wonderful day. The title of the video, 99% will miss this, the internet standard. But before we delve into that, let's look at the fear and greed index. So looking at the market cap of the total value of cryptocurrency, we're down 1.44% and we're under that 1 trillion mark. And market sentiment for quant at the moment is 52. We're actually in greed. People are buying. So the overall volume at the moment is 27 billion and BTC dominance up 0.66%. And as we can see, we are going sideways, which Stick into that $101 mark, which I talked about in a previous video and trying to work out why that is. So I saw this lovely tweet from the House of Chimera, the evolution of blockchain interoperation and overview of SATP, the Secure Asset Transfer Protocol, aims to standardize digital asset transfers between different networks or systems, alongside colleagues from MIT, IBM, EY and others, Quant put forward a charter that has led the ITF to form the SATP working group. And as we can see here from this infographic, the evolution of blockchain standard protocol, SATP, as we know, stands for Secure Asset Transfer Protocol, aiming to standardize digital asset transfers between different networks or systems. The two gateway system, SATP, operates between two gateways representing origin and destination networks for unidirectional digital asset transfers. Then the asset properties ensures atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability for asset transfers, guaranteeing safe and reliable transactions. And then we've got the consistency requirement ensures every asset transfer always leaves both participating networks in a consistent state. So utilizes IETF, the standards, incorporating existing IETF standards for secure channels, payload formats, encryption, and much, much more. I thought this was really a nice infographic to give us sort of an overview of what this is all about. Then I saw this tweet from Just the Tech Guy, quant pioneering true decentralization through SATP gateways. And we'll have a look. So we've got here, this is true decentralization means that functions are spread across distinct blockchain systems where nodes may be implemented using different software stacks and where each blockchain system may employ different consensus mechanisms and different ledger data. Indeed, this is how the TCP IP internet is architected in this why the internet has been able to grow in size and in traffic capacity to serve end users at a global scale the internet is not a single contiguous ip network it is in fact a collection of interconnected autonomous systems where each as has well-defined physical boundary and each as is operated by an isp in contrast in the case of recent DeFi offerings most if not all of the DeFi efforts have been conducted on one blockchain platform, namely Ethereum. All very, very interesting. Now I move over to Reddit where I saw some very, very interesting conversations. So the work of standardization and secure movement of asset transfers through a API gateways continues. Hold on to your hat. And this is regards to the secure asset transfer protocol. SATP is now an official working group in the IETF, which we knew about because this post was around about seven months ago. Someone asked, what does this mean? Quant has already solved interoperability at scale. They are now solidifying their position by creating emerging standards through ISO and IETF. IETF specifically responsible for network protocols such as TCP, IP and BGP, which is Border Gateway Protocol, which enables data routing. They are what make the internet actually function just so you know, creating a recognized standard around the transfer of interoperability of digital assets, SATP, will be a catalyst for institutional adoption. Now, this person goes on to ask, is the quant entity behind IETF? I was looking for quant in the link. I'm super excited to see something in black and white. Quant is not behind the IETF. They are simply a standards organization. The goal is to create a set of standards where blockchain DLT ecosystems can converge and in interoperate, transferring data value assets in a frictionless way. Standardization through ISO 
TC307, which we know Gilbert Verdin is the creator of, and now IETF's SATP working group are great milestones to hit as regulations and further adoption begin to take place. This person also goes on to say, so is Quant the operating system being used for all of this? Sorry for the dumb questions, but I'm trying to place Q&T in this and I've been looking for this kind of solid info regarding Quant use cases. This person replies, Overledger will be at the core of SATP. Every transaction requires Quant. It's internet scale, so you can imagine the number of transactions once it becomes an adopted standard. <laughs> and obviously replies, amazing stuff thanks for this now this is really exciting now satp is obviously uh, a really important factor within all of this this protocol is amazing so so that was just a bit of an update on the satp lots going on in the background hopefully we'll hear something from the team in the near future as things progress remember none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research also please subscribe please hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos all the best and i'll catch you later remember this isn't financial advice always do your own research